Welcome to attend this uh, presentation about uh, the empowering edge software stack on, on with high performance content networking technology. Uh, 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 this is an uh, agenda. I would like to say that uh, there is a six section about my presentation. First one is an uh, introduction. I would like to then I would like to present the um, edge software stack architecture and uh, then the high performance uh, container networking interfaces such as the Calico City and the um, edge software stack. And uh, a special and then a, a special SRV CNI, a special CNI which named SRV and semantic support for container networking. Uh, I would like to present some uh, initial performance tests uh, on this thing eyes on this container solutions and our future work uh, plan uh, as you know as we as you know uh, the purpose of edge computing um, and under um, micro access is uh, edge computing is to bring the real time real-time high bandwidth, low latency access to latency dependent applications distributed at the edge of the network. ARM CPUs are cost effective, consume low power and customizable and making them a pre preferred choice for edge cloud service vendors. On the other side, a high performance, flexible and easy deployable container networking of edge software stack is the key to the success of full to the success of using ARM platform on edge cloud. Since the widely used VNFs, uh, virtual network functions are deployed by container-based orchestration engines such as Kubernetes or OpenShift or others. And in this graph, give us a universal CP example of edge compute. And uh, the service providers are looking, are looking to simplify customer side deployment. So we can replace the traditional dedicated appliances with, uh, with the VNFs running on the uh, universal CPE. Uh, it is a software-based system to implement all the functions implemented by the hardware appliances. So the UPE, UCPE can should leverage white box servers with no proprietary extensions. And actually the um, ecosystem leverage applies power acceleration advantage and in this transition, in this transition. So, uh, in this page, uh, I give out a um, edge reference tag, which is composed to the front button to the upper layer from the bottom to the upper layer to the high top. And at the bottom, we have the uh, hardware support from the high performance NICs and or some smart NICs, smart NICs with high performance support. And from the, uh, uh, from the network layer, we have the SRV or DBDK or uh, something like that to support, to support the high performance network packet access. From the orchestration layer, in the orchestration layer, we have Kubernetes as a orchestration engine for the containers. And uh, but from the networking side, we have we leverage the uh, emergency, the yeah, older legacy uh, networking software such as uh, OpenVSwitch or which work back the packet procession uh, software and the Linux networking and the extended BPF to do the networking support. But from the controller side, we have a lot of uh, choices, such as the uh, uh, Calico, Fernando, Cydian, OVN, Kubernetes, and all these solutions. I would like to present them in a more detail in the later slides. From the top layer, we have the applications and the application orchestration engine, such as uh, maybe lightweight, such as ONAP, or such as the uh, something that and something like that. Uh, we have the uh, application platform such as the uh, could be flow for the AI service and the service mesh for the deployment for the deployment of microservices and the Knative, um, something like that. 
And uh, actually, uh, we have imp implemented an uh, ARM edge software stack and deployed it uh, as a reference cluster with a reference cluster with a Kubernetes reference cluster. And in this cluster, we have three nodes. And uh, the first one is the Kubernetes master node. Uh, we deploy the Kubernetes system service. Uh, we provide the API service in the system for the system access. And we have uh, actually we have two nodes here, and therefore deploy the we needed the uh, VNFs such as the port for CNCF service mesh, such as such as the port for port for CBA service with the our so, uh, container with so high performance container solutions such as Calico or others. And when uh, some pods, when some containers need high performance access, we can deploy the SRV interfaces, SRV interfaces by Matas or SRV CNI to the pods. In the right part, in the right part is a sample deployment with a small sample deployment with two kind of uh, solutions. And the first one is the small deployment with malware backstop in top shoot pods. It's a reference stack. And the second one is for ARM servers to uh, deploy in the Edge Cloud. This is for the Marvel Sandex2 or Ampere servers. Now I would like to give you a total picture of the high performance container networking solutions for ARM Edge software stack. This picture give, uh, give out a total pic, uh, total uh, of the total uh, support in our IEC ARM Edge software stack in the Acreno, uh, Acreno community, which is open source, which is open source and give out a source code tree. In this ARM Edge software stack, we had enabled, we had enabled the support uh, and deployment for uh, uh, several uh, import, several the most important uh, container networking solutions, and uh, there are I think uh, so the solutions include Calico, Cilium, and ContiVBB, and OVN Kubernetes, and SROV, and Funano. I would present Calico and Cilium in later slides with a bit little bit more details, and uh, for the ContiVBB, it uses. Uh, the federal VP to provide the level collective collectivity between ports and it's a native DPTK support in the for the face clinic. So it's a high performance with uh, with high, but it's hard to deploy and it's hard to config and hard to debug. And for OVN Kubernetes, we have the OES based solution for container networking. And the risk as uh, it, it's important is performance is very rather good. Rather good. And uh, we use OVN's logical switches and routers to collect ports to from the outside and the internal uh, internal side out access. For the SRV interfaces, uh, SRV support, we deploy the physical interfaces such as the uh, PF, the primary function or virtual function, PF or VF support for ports. It's high performance with direct Linux kernel Ethernet driver or DPTK PMD driver. I would like to present the SRV thing in more details. But it uh, usually we use SRV thing uh, with other uh, container solutions because SRV is not so extensible. It's, it's not so, uh, its scalability is not so good. So we use this uh, Fernando or Calico uh to use as a default cni but when you need high performance access you we use the matas to glue the two cnis and uh, the latest one is the flannel flannel is widely used and almost easy deployment and it's a linux network bridge uh collection for port collection and overlap overlay based uh overlay based communication for inter-host access and actually, uh, is, there is no good network policy support in for Fernando. And uh, as, as uh, this uh, in this page, this page gives out a, a description about the Calico on Kubernetes. Uh, Calico as is a uh, project Calico is an important solution of its widely usage. And actually, it's uh, uh, it's this collection is show show the work mechanism of the uh, typical deployment of 
practical for the container networking. Actually, we have few three IP networking fabric. And when there is direct layer two collection between the nodes, there is no need to use the encapsulation. So its performance is rather good. And we have the direct IP routing between the pod, between different pods. So the access is rather direct and the Calico solution can and support the network of Kubernetes network of policy by IP tables. And it has good scalability with the BGP based routing, BGP based routing for all the uh, containers, all the pods. In this graph, I will, uh, let I will give a, a rather initial performance test results for the Calico CNI, Calico CNI on Kubernetes. And the second one I would like to say a bit more in detail is the Cilean uh, CNI. It is widely used today and uh, become more popular, uh, become more and more popular today because it uses and it support a BPF based network policy and a network uh, to do uh, the network uh, filter, packet filter and to support the container access and the port access with uh, BPF support. And the Cilean daemon, Cilean daemon in this graph, Cilean daemon works as a bytecode injection to the from to translate the Kubernetes network policy into the BTF program, into the kernel, and into the to uh, restrict or restrict or uh, the access to the physical NIC and to the access to the corresponding parts in the system when we need to do some uh, network policy. And from the networking model, in uh, Cilean supported the legacy encapsulation or direct routing, uh, direct routing models uh, for the lab port collection, and uh, we can use the VX LAN uh, encapsulation to enable the access between nodes. And uh, actually, uh, the typical, the most typical uh, features of Cilean is that it uses the BPF-based solution to support the Kubernetes service implementation. Uh, as we know, uh, uh, BPF is a temp, is a very high performance uh, in kernel solution with the network policy to do uh, input in the kernel to do the filtering and the, all the things in the kernel with a much machine-like uh, solutions in the kernel and to all the uh, to do all the things. So it's a, uh, it's a much, uh, its performance is much better than the IP table based uh, copy proxy. So we should do this to all the services uh, in, in nine year list and have to uh, use uh, uh, to implement all then in the uh, nine year manner, but it's but for uh, BPF it's a hash based and we just uh, uh, implemented them in the very, very fast model to implement all the network policy. And uh, uh, even a new senior feature for the Cilean is that it supports the API aware security to support uh, the HTTP or GRPC or Kafka based uh, API aware uh, network policy. For example, in this, pic in this picture, we support the uh, uh, HTTP get access, HTTP get access from the uh, different ports. And we, we restrict the access for the other actions such as post or such as, such as access to other URLs uh, for HTTP. So Cilean is a very uh, popular and a very become more and more popular solution nowadays for high performance access for the container networking solutions. And uh, another important networking solution, another important networking is SRV and semantic support for container networking. Uh, in this graph, and uh, I give a total picture of the how to deploy SRV interfaces to the uh, parts. In this graph, we use the Smarta CNI, which is glue CNI to deploy two kinds of uh, container networking solutions. And the first one is the default one for the for nano calico plugin. You can choose one of them and you deploy the default 
uh, container working solutions to their ports. But if you need uh, if you need a high performance solution such as a direct physical interface uh, to your ports to your containers, you can use the SRV and you can add a description. You add a description what resources you want you want to use. Uh, in this graph, in this page, I give out a description of the, what is the what is the interfaces you want to use and you, what we have provided in this, in this page. We have provided a description for the uh, of the uh, physical NIC, a uh, physical NIC for the uh, smart NIC, smart NIC uh, thin, uh, Broadcom, which is Stingray, Broadcom, Stingray, PS200, PS225, uh, 225. We use it, it's uh, Ethernet driver and we use this, uh, you use the primary functions as uh, we give it the primary, but we should, we wanted to use uh, all the VFs. We should uh, create all the VFs beforehand when you need to be used. And uh, and uh, one interesting point maybe uh, for you, maybe if we if we want to uh, use, just to use the DPTK support, which is means that uh, we want to deploy, you deploy the DPTK applications in the port, how to use this? And so you can deploy a DPTK uh, drivers to in your description and choose the resources you want to use. Uh, you use this is a resource can description for the DPTK based. Here the drivers are VFIO PCI, which is uh, VFIO PCI, which is a DPTK based uh, network uh, network driver, and you can use the uh, DPTK solutions such as tester. Uh, DPTK applications such as test PMD in a port to support this DPTK, uh, this DPTK interfaces. So, and this graph gives out the uh, deployment architecture uh, for deploying the picture about the uh, a certain a typical port. We have two interfaces. The first one is the Fernando Calico bridge to connect to the Linux kernel, and the second one is the uh, SRV interfaces with a, a VF with a VF of the uh, physical NIC. And uh, the, I give out the networking model for the SRV interfaces collection. This is uh, this page in the page 13, I give out a sample deployment for two ports collected with a uh, Stingray PS225 VFs in a single host. This, in this, the two kind of uh, the two ports are collected with the SRV interfaces together by a semantic, by a semantic, by a semantic via two VFs. And, but actually it's uh, it collected with the, in the same PF, but with different VFs. And the collection, this, this gives a collection model. And I would like to give out the, uh, some performance tests between in this model, in this kind of model. And the uh, further topic here, a further topic here is a raw thinking on the possible model for container networking with o semantic OVS offload support. Uh, it's a raw, very raw thinking and give out two models here. And uh, these two models here is uh, for the first model, we have a OVS bridge here, OVS bridge here. We provided a OVS bridge uh, with collection to the pods with a VETH pair. But for the collection from this always bridge in the host in the user space, we use the primary interface or virtual function, PF or VF interfaces to collect to the virtual switch offloaded, which is offloaded in this manic. So, and for this topic, we from the control plane, we need to uh, provide some uh, agent uh, collection uh, between the user space and the kernel space. Here we use the open OVN Kubernetes solution here, but this solution is uh, should be transferred to uh, the from the uh, user space to the kernel from on to the kernel from the uh, OVN Kubernetes to the kernel to the uh, semantic OVN Kubernetes agent. So it's a partial OVS flow offload. Uh, for the model two, it's a, a OVS flow a totally offload model, which is used. Uh, which is uh, totally offloaded to the container, which has better, better performance than the model one. And uh, the front control plane, its architecture is almost the same, but we have more high performance, which is because the uh, 
port is collected physically to the OS, uh, OS which, off which is offloaded in this manic. Five minutes. Yes. Okay. Uh, this uh, I would like to give out an initial performance test uh, for the critical and uh, for the OVM components, uh, which is tested in a single in a single ARM server. And for this uh, this picture, give out the performance test for the uh, initial uh, connect uh, port to port and node port performance. You can check it later from this slide. And actually, we had done performance tests with RVCNI, and the SRVCNI is direct access and in a single host and across different hosts, across different hosts. And this is the performance test, initial performance test, uh, which is uh, for the uh, SRLV interface in the same host, a collection with, collected with uh, PS225 VFs. And the second one is the performance test uh, uh, for the SRV interface in two hosts, in two different hosts via the uh, PS225 VFs. And we can see that the, uh, the collection is, of, uh, is near to the line rate of the interfaces. And for future work, I would like to say that the performance evaluation the tuning for Calico CNI and the Cilium CNI with port to port and node to port cases on ARM platform, mainly for cross node. The possible tuning parameters are given here, such as MTU, such as RXTX or RPS RVFS and some of the features. And we would like to in, uh, integrate the service mesh with high performance CNI, such as CDM proxy, CDM proxy with uh, uh, Envoy, with Envoy or with Envoy. And uh, we would like to investigate further DPT incorporated container network solution and the UDG model and other things, uh, further CSCIs, and more thinking of the actual work on the semantic support for container networking, for container networking with OVS upload. And uh, that's all for today's topic.